Hi and welcome back to a fantastic brand new tutorial. Here we're going to have a look at some uh, hidden features and some uh, useful shortcuts. But before I jump into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Very important for the algorithm to kick in and get more views. So yeah, so let's jump straight in. So let's start off with some hidden stuff. So uh, here in Logic you have two tools here. So if we want to have a third one, go to general. In editing, we go to the right mouse button selection and we go to is assignable to a tool, right? So now we have a tool up here, a third one, pretty cool. So let's put an eraser tool here. And then if I go right click, it comes up, okay? Right click, okay, go back. So that's useful if you want to have um, a third tool. Now there's another feature here as well. If we go back to the uh, preference, uh, the same place where we've got the assignable to a tool assigned to the right mouse button. Let's go to shortcut menu, right? Now shortcut menu is what's standard normally. So if you right click, get the, the shortcut menu to, you know, to whatever you want to use there. And then you can also have open tool and shortcut menu. So like when I right click here, I've also got a section of tools as well. So if you haven't got this selected, you can go straight there and select whatever you want, different ways of getting to tools. And so you also have T, just T, that brings up the, um, wherever your mouse is, it will bring up the, uh, so if I'm here, up, oh, got that comes up as well. So that's a useful tool tip as well. Uh, yeah, so that's um, some hidden features there. Then we have another feature which is pretty cool is the color bars that I've got here. Now, to get them activated, you need to go to configure track header, track header, and then you have to have that selected. So default is no color bars. So it's logic comes like this. And um, so what I like to do is usually color my stuff. So if I go here, um, say here, this is the drums, so I'm going to change that to brown. Then we have, say these are my bases, although they're not, I'll just call these bases, I'll put them blue. Okay. Now, um, what happens here is that when we go into, into um, mixing desk, they don't seem to match. Right? So we've got this here is still the horrible original blue. This one here is still the blue because it's a it's a standard um, audio track which comes as that blue color and a MIDI the MIDI tracks come as this green color. So say I want this to be the same. Um, now I'm going to bring up the track header components and just turn on track color so I can see them here. And here, what I'm going to do, if I click on this, nothing happens. So I hold down Command. And that will then change it. So when I originally do the colors, I will always do this at the same time. I always hold down the command button. So then the, com the uh, actual colors will all match. And uh, yeah, so that's um, my take on colors uh, and how to have them matching in the actual mixing desk and bring up the color bars as well. So that's a useful um, hidden feature there as well. So then we have some more shortcut features. Uh, let's say for existence you're in MIDI here. Let's bring up a MIDI file here. Uh, one of the shortcuts I use all the time, hold down out, and then I just move my trackpad, with my two fingers in the middle, and this just brings it up here. And it's the same here. You can see it does exactly the same here. Just brings up the, uh, the zoom tool, but the way to use it the zoom tool is just to hold down the out and then scroll either with the trackpad with your two fingers in the middle back up and down or left to right. That will just make it bigger. Just sort of like really, really fine tune that the way you want. Or you can do it with the magic mouse the same way as well. Uh, then another useful feature, a really useful feature is if you're editing MIDI. And uh, so you've got this on here. So now we've got the two tracks selected. You can see that um, they're all kind of mixed up in colors. You don't know which one's which because these are, if you right click on the actual note itself, come down, these are velocity colors that we're seeing. So if we go to region colors, 
This will give us the pink and the green that's selected here, the two MIDI files that are selected. And now you can see the two sets of MIDI notes in their respective region colors, and that's really practical. So then we can go back to the velocity colors as well. And there's another shortcut tip is, uh, so if you hit Control and Command at the same time, we'll bring up the velocity, and you can then just move up and down the velocity quite quickly on one of the, uh, or, or a group, or, any, or the, everything at the same time. Saves you having to go here and use that. So that's a little, a quick shortcut tip uh, there as well. And uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.